Hello, my name is Xavier and I am 16 years old. I attend Gloucester County Institute of Technology as a junior and we are partnering with United Way to bring the Read to Children project. Today we're going to be reading Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lewin. Let's get started. Farmer Brown had a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears, click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. At first, he couldn't believe his eyes. Cows that type, impossible. Click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack then he couldn't believe his eyes there was a note on the barn door it said dear farmer brown the barn is very cold at night we'd like some electric blankets sincerely the cows it was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. It said, sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. See right there? It says, closed. No milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type? Hens on strike? Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum, or decision, to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. It says, Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. See, they all got their electric blankets. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. 
Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. The end. So even though this was a funny story, it did have it did have a great lesson in it. You see how all the cows and all the other animals work together to get what they want. So you can see that teamwork makes the dream work. So we always want to make sure we're, we're always trying to work together so we can get to a better outcome. Thank you.